Hey friends, it's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life straight from my car dashboard to yours. Not on the dash, I'll tell you why in just a second. Today is Tuesday, April 2nd, 2019. Let me tell you what you need to know so you're in the know around the water cooler and in car line today. All right, Amazon is uh, said to slash be slashing prices by 20% on Whole Foods products starting tomorrow, that's good news. Uh, the Department of Justice has issued a warning to the Academy of Motion Picture Arts, whatever their full title is. I guess they're trying to do something to keep Netflix out of the running, so that's interesting. Avengers Endgame tickets are now on sale. Did you guys see my reaction video? Like a thousand people almost have watched it. It's crazy. I'll put a link to It's humorous. It was my first attempt at a live trailer reaction video. Yeah, it's probably good that I don't do those with my kids around. <laughs> and it's National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day, which I was craving yesterday, and World Autism Awareness Day. So lots of good stuff going on today. If you missed any of that, you know I'm going to put the info for you below. Of course, you can find me at the Sammy Cohn on Twitter and Instagram, SammyCone.com, and on YouTube. YouTube is actually Samara Cohn. Did you know that's my full name? Would love it if you would subscribe there if you haven't already. Um, you know, and also, of course, appreciate the thumbs up, the likes, the hearts, all those things. It keeps the conversation going, keeps the Daily Dash appearing in your newsfeed as well. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me okay. I am outside on my deck. It is a gorgeous day here in Nashville. Now, I am not what most would consider, aka any would consider, uh, an outdoorsy gal. I just don't, yeah, not a fan. Now, I'm an athlete. And I like to do things, but I'm not like a hiker. I'm not a, like, I don't like the heat. I don't like bugs. I don't, I don't, I just don't like it. In fact, I would rather be cold and snowy. Um, I love that, but I love when it's cold and sunny. When it's like 40, 50 degrees and sunny, I am in my heyday. And that's what it is right now. And so often in Nashville, we go straight from winter to summer with no spring. And it has been beautiful. So I have just been working outside for a little bit. I'm going to have to go in because um, I've got a call in just a few minutes. But it's just been gorgeous. So I hope it's pretty wherever you are because it's been beautiful here. Now, I wanted to share something that I have been doing and waiting to share with you all year. And that is something I've been doing for my son. Now, you know he turned 13 a month ago. And I did something similar for my daughter when she turned 13. But I have been reading through the Bible for teen guys. And you're thinking, Sammy, you're not a teen nor a guy. Correct. But this is, and I think Christina is watching. So my spiritual mama, Jackie Kendall, taught me um, the importance. I, I don't even know, like taught me, like I just observed her. That's how we learn things so many times, right? It's just by observing that she was doing this for her grandkids where she would read through one of the Bible in a year, the daily Bibles with her, with someone specific in mind. And then she would write down different prayers and um, just different things that happen on those days. So if there's words that come up or if there's um, an event, she just writes to them and then hands them the Bible at the end of the year. Isn't that great? So I did it for my daughter when she turned 13 and then I'm doing this one for my son. So I will gift this to him when I'm done. Now, Zondervan did not have kind of the companion to the, um, once a day daily i can't remember the title but the women's bible so i looked through the different offerings and i thought this would be a great one because i really like the niv it's um, the bible that i came to know when i came to know christ it is um i feel like very easy to understand but still true to the original so i look for one with um niv and then this cover i don't know if you can tell it's I think technically a paperback, but it's got this stitching on it and then the blue. So it's actually a really cool looking Bible. A lot of Bibles that they make for younger people are, I don't know, cheesy. I should, don't say they, there's a lot of Bible publishers out there, but they get cheesy. I'm just going to say, and then even if your kids use it for a little bit, which most little kids don't always, you know, read through a Bible, it ends up in like the Goodwill pile because it's not something they want to take into their adulthood. Whereas like I would literally carry this around you see it's almost got like this like leather feel here it's just a cool it's a cool look and a cool feel and i like that it's sturdier than a traditional uh paperback but it's not cumbersome like a hardcover so yeah like i said i just printed out you know like a free once a once a one year bible kind of reading plan and then i just write things on top like if i say if i see themes repeating um I keep the dates in the Old Testament, and then if there's something that's going on, um, 
like <laughs> 2000, like when his surprise party was, when he did the play, things like that. So it just becomes a really nice memento. So anyway, I wanted to share this with you guys because I've been doing this all year and, you know, didn't want to share it before he actually had his birthday. Not that he watches the Daily Dash, but this is it. So it's a really great gift idea, whether you have a nephew, a grandson, a brother, um, a son. Just wanted to... Can, encourage you to think of doing something like this because I know that God's word is new every time we read it it comes alive in a new way based on where we are that day and our experiences but when you have someone else in mind as you're reading it it truly puts God's word in a new light okay friends I want to pray um, devotion the word devoted has been coming to me all day just being devoted in prayer Romans 12 12 is um, be um, joyful hope joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer, and just the devoted in prayer has been on my mind. So I want to pray that you all are devoted in prayer, and just be careful what you devote yourselves to. And that's it. I hope you have a great day wherever you are. Make sure you make it great, and do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye, friends.